violent takeover of the Capitol. It, whatever. That's a lie. <laughs> Is it? I mean, who took over the Capitol? Prove it. Hey, Jonathan. Can I come arm right there to keep my phone steady? Oh, yes, you can. Thanks. Oh, gosh. She's using the shoulder. It's great. We have real questions for you, buddy. Take this stuff. We gotta go. Well, what does that have to do with him claiming election? What does that have to do with that? Look, I just want to know. Do you want to announce Antifa? You can't assume what Trump thinks. Hey, 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 Jim. Hey, Jim. No. Jim, just, just do you denounce Antifa? Hey, Jim. Yeah? Jim, you're going to denounce Antifa? He just Yes, and that is exactly. Why do you, why do you report? Summer. Now tell me. All we want is simply yes or no. You're a very good liar, Jim. Thank you for standing up for the elites, big guy. That's all I got to say. Why, why didn't you report on people singing God Bless America? And the Star Spangled Banner. How you report well, the truth hurts sometimes. Right, but how, have, have sometimes you, have, people can't take the tough questions. What, 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 about, what, about, when, what about when CNN, uh, in this situation, doesn't even report hardly on Cuomo's uh, sexual harassment allegations that they are being made against him? When there's a perception that you guys are well, well, you cover the news, but you only cover one part of the news. Right. And, you, and you, don't, you don't believe any part of that? I don't. I'm sorry, but... Do you know we were singing God Bless America and the Star Spangled Banner and the Pledge of Allegiance on January 6th? Why, did, why, I, you know, I, I never... How can I answer? Huh? Were you there? Yeah, I was... Let me ask you about that. That's uh, interesting. Um, you were, so you were there on January 6th. You went to the, the Stop the Steal rally? Yeah. On the mall? Yeah. Did you end up going to the Capitol? Yep. And did you go inside the Capitol? No. What do you think about the people who went inside the Capitol? Um... When they opened the doors and they allowed people in, I mean, that kind of changed it. If you broke the windows and you broke the doors, you shouldn't have done that. Yeah. But when, when you see where the police and uh, the Capitol Police open doors and let folks in, that's not trespassing. Come on, you can go right in. Yeah, but they weren't supposed to go in. They, they didn't really give the police uh, officers a, a choice, did they? They just sort of but, they just well, went in there. Well, no, no. I, I mean, when you watch and you see what happens... Had the opportunity to have more Hold on. So I'm talking to this gentleman right here, if you don't mind. No, but if they open the doors and they let them in, I, I mean, I mean that, there's the one scene where they're going down the hall. All the police are lying in the hallways. But a police officer was killed. I, I, Other police officers were beaten up. Now, you know, this is, this is a dynamic of infallibility. You, you asked me that question. What do you think I have? I have to answer that. Yeah, you know, you don't want anybody to die, obviously. You know, nobody should have died. Nobody should have died. You know, nor nor should the girl that was the the, uh, the Air Force vet. She shouldn't have died. We don't even hear about her. But don't you feel Trump is at all responsible for that? No, not at all. No. Not at all. Do you want you know what? No, why, you want to know why he's not responsible? Because I left North Carolina at midnight. Okay, and they're saying that he incited that riot at eleven o'clock during that speech. That that's not what happened. But well, so, you were there then. Yeah, you, there. Were, you were there on January sixth. And do you still believe that Donald Trump won the election? Yes. How can you possibly believe that? Well, the, the reason why I believe it is because we, all these states were not given their... There's people in these states that were not given their due diligence in front of courts to be heard. And I, I have a problem with that. But they went through all the courts. They went to the Supreme Court. I, I, you know, they didn't go through the Supreme Court. When the Supreme Court says they're not going to hear, uh, hear the case... That's not going through the Supreme Court. 
you know, I wanted my voice heard. I wanted, there's, there's people in Pennsylvania and Georgia that wanted their, their voice to be heard in front of the, the system. The, 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 you, uh, you don't think he just lost? No. no. You really think that Biden got 80 million votes? <laughs> Serious, seriously. In, in the last two shot times that he ran for uh, presidency, I don't know, what was the number? 0 0.04, 0 0.4, 1.4. And then all of a sudden, he got more votes than President Obama? Come on. You don't, okay, and your name is? Roger. Farina. Roger, what's your last Farina. name? Farina. Farina. How do you, for, uh, right there, F-A-R-I-N-A. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Roger. Thank you. Nice talking Costa, you. Sure, you know, I, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No, I gotta get going. Sorry. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a retired warrant too. I mean, yeah. Thank you so much for your service. That, 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 that's why I didn't go on the Capitol building. Is that people with peaceful protest?